welcome all to our second free patient information day um, because we are actually now at such an exciting time for Duchenne research and now more than ever it's important that we all pull together and fight for the common good. So today's focus is really to give you what you need to be strong. Well, funding research is obviously the first and most crucial step, but on its own isn't enough. So we made a very conscious decision early on to look at the drug development timeline, one which we know is complex and challenging, and see where can we leverage our money, where can we leverage our knowledge as patients to really accelerate research and make a difference along every stage of this drug development timeline. So the first Part of that obviously is the basic science, the research, the bedrock of innovation, and we're funding many projects here. We're most excited about these next pieces, the preclinical testing where we prepare products to go into the clinic. We're funding our own clinical trials and we're supporting the work that goes into running those clinical trials. We're also doing a lot of work bringing stakeholders together to make sure that these drugs can be approved and that they have a smooth journey through the regulatory path. And then at the end, we're, we're looking at how how nice are eventually going to pay for these products, because that is the final and very important piece of the jigsaw. So tamoxifen, there was an interesting paper published on tamoxifen a few years ago. Um, we basically found out that a doctor in um, Switzerland wanted to run a clinical trial. We went to see him last year, and he was struggling because he didn't have a clinical trial manager. This was going to be a study in seven countries in Europe. So immediately, we um, paid for his, him to um, recruit a project manager. We gave money for the study. We're supporting it in, with over £600,000, and we are now pleased to say that tamoxifen trial will be happening in the UK. But there's no point in funding all this research if we don't have the doctors and nurses and physiotherapists to deliver them. So we developed the DMD hub. Emma Heslop will be discussing with you later the achievements of the hub to date. And the idea is that once those, those trial sites start bringing in industry-funded studies, those posts will then become self-funding and we are creating a legacy for clinics to continue to run clinical trials. And this brings us on to the final piece of the jigsaw. So in the two and a half years it took for NICE to agree to fund Translana, boys who were eligible for the drug stopped walking and could no longer access it. I mean, this was the first approved treatment for Duchenne. They couldn't work out a way to pay for it. It's shocking. So rather than rail against the system, we decided to do something about it. And I think the Telegraph summed it up quite nicely when they said, you know, the charity has achieved a rare thing in the pharmaceutical world. We've got seven competitors to work together for the common good, and that's what we want to do.